from WXOW, this is Lacrosse's own News 19 Daybreak. Welcome back. As we celebrate Veterans Day today, we're looking at more ways to honor them. Including a day trip to our nation's capital to see the memorials created for them. And joining us this morning is Ryan Clark from Freedom Honor Flight. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. And for those who don't know, what is Freedom Honor Flight, Ryan? Freedom Honor Flight is a way to show gratitude and appreciation for those that have served. Uh, we give them a day where it's an early day, fly out to Washington, D.C., send off here in La Crosse, and then that welcome back celebration. Uh, in the meantime, we spend the day showing them those memorials, letting them reminisce about their time in the service, uh, and then a couple more surprises along the way. Almost like a little field trip. Absolutely. And how can Absolutely. veterans get involved? Uh, visit our website. Uh, they can go out to our website and uh, sign up for the trip. Uh, a lot of our veterans started out as World War II, Korean War era veterans. We're into the Vietnam era veterans now, uh, but just get signed up. If they've been on the trip, uh, we really encourage them to talk about the trip with their fellow veterans, recruit those veterans. Uh, some are hesitant to go. Uh, let them know that those vets have already gone and it's their turn to get involved. And, and what are some ways that folks like us, our viewers, can, can help out the Freedom Honor Flight or honor them on a day like today? It's a good question. Uh, visit our website throughout the year and, and watch what events we've got coming up. Uh, if there is a flight coming up, we really enjoy having that big crowd, that welcome home for them to, to have that celebration, to really give them that sense that they are welcomed back into the community. Uh, other than that, uh, it's, it never hurts to know who those veterans are and just, again, thank them for their service. Uh, remind them that what they did was important, whether they served in World War II, uh, Korean War, Vietnam, into the Desert Storm, Afghanistan and Iraq era veterans. Uh, just remind them that we are grateful for what we have uh, because of their service. And, and we do know that, you know, we hear the stories from veterans who come back and just have, have had the greatest day ever. You know, they talk about the experiences and you see the emotions flowing and it's truly a beautiful thing that you do, Ryan, and your organization does. It's, it's such a powerful day. I've had the, the pleasure of going on, on many flights and you see the emotion on their face at the end of the day when we get back to the airport in La Crosse. Uh, for many of these veterans, they didn't get the parade when they got home. Uh, they, they rode the train back to their farm. They were working three days later again, uh, helping out on the, the family farm. Uh, at the same time, when you see that sense of emotion, you, you look and you say, uh, what, what groups like this do is important. Uh, it gives them that sense of closure. It gives them that sense of appreciation and gratitude that we're really looking for. Yeah, and they deserve that recognition, Absolutely. you know, not only on Veterans Day, but every day of the year as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you. Now we'll send it over to Alyssa.